just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. It is Thursday. I'm having my coffee here at home today. Today is the end of the module for the students, which means next week they go into a different module, which means they don't get me as their instructor. The way this school is set up is different than when I went to school like 20 years ago, um, where you get in and you stay with the same instructor throughout your whole dental schooling. Here, um, one teacher teaches like the beginning all the things you need to know for the beginning of learning dental assistant assisting <laughs> um so yeah so that's me in the morning and then in the after in the evening there's another teacher that teaches that so i will have new students every month so today's their last day they have their final test and they get a potluck today and they're like miss rogers we're gonna miss you we're gonna be around but we wish you know we can keep you as our teacher can we request you and i'm like unfortunately no it's not the way the school is set up i'm only teaching newbies so you guys are going to know more than the next crowd that comes in so starting on monday i get a whole new group of students and i'm more comfortable now and I won't be as nervous. Oh my gosh, let me tell you guys, my first day, it went well, but I was so nervous. Like when I'm writing my name on the board before they got to class, my hand was shaking and I was sweating when I was reading the lecture. And now it's just like, oh well, no big deal. Um, oh well, they're just kids. <laughs> That's the way I see it, not just kids, but that has what helped me every day, especially in the beginning. And let me show you guys. So remember on Monday night, when I told you guys I went to Kaiser because I wasn't feeling well. Well, I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I bruise very easily. Sometimes I'll wake up with bruises on me at night. Not all the time. And I'm like, what am I doing? Fighting in my sleep? And sometimes if I like hit my leg on the table and I don't think I hit it very hard, but the next day I'd have a huge bruise. Well, when they drew blood on me, she said, I'm probably gonna get a bruise. And I'm like, I barely felt the needle going in. But let me show you this huge bruise. It looks like I was punched or something. Ignore my fat arm. But look at this, you guys. That looks horrible. And it's not even painful at all. It's not, it doesn't hurt. But it looks like it hurts. So yeah, I'm all bruised up. I've been through battle. <laughs> anyway, so let me finish drinking my coffee and I'm gonna head out in a minute. And I will try, you guys, I will try to get like, videos of the back of the kids because their shirts not their shirts but their uniform says what school we are at so I don't want to do that for safety reasons so I would try my best to get as much video footage as I can today and I'm gonna say they're my favorite group of kids because they're my first that I've taught but they're amazing all right so gonna be leaving for work in a second 
Um, I put on my lab coat because it's kind of cool in the mornings. It's like that in-between weather where it's kind of chilly in the mornings, but then by the time I get off work, you don't need the jacket that you brought to work. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wear a lab coat, which I can wear all day at work because it's cold in the building. And then, yeah, what was I gonna tell you guys? Why did I turn the camera on? I don't know, probably to vlog more. So let's go to work. So I'm at home now. Um, I did not get to vlog as much as I wanted to today. It was a busy day. They had to finish up with their testing and stuff like that. So I really didn't get a chance to pull out the camera like I wanted to in lab, but I did post a picture on Snapchat, um, my students, and I may or may not insert a picture of them that they took of us on their last day in my class. So I'll still see them on campus, but they're just gonna go into other um, areas of dental. No, I take that back. They're gonna go into the next phase. I told you guys I teach the beginning students. So next week I'll have 14 more new students. Oh so yeah, um, tonight is Bible study. I'm just sitting here watching TV and I'm drinking some more coffee because I'm tired, need to stay awake and that's it. All right, you guys, I just wanted to show you, look what I got. So this is perfect for the look that I'm going in my dining room. And a church member, actually, he works with lumber and stuff like that, and they cut up wood. So normally, you guys, I've seen these at Hobby Lobby and on Amazon for 20 bucks for just one piece of wood like this, because this is what's trending and a lot of people want it right now. He cut these for me for free. I have four of them. The other two are right there. And no, this is not where it's going to stay, um, but I don't know where else to put it right now. So he is also going to give me smaller ones, which are maybe around about that size. So yeah, I'm so happy he gave these to me, but like I said, these are just here right now because I don't know where else to put them until I actually get my table. All right, so I'm home from Bible study. Ignore all this. You guys know how I look when I come home and take off my ponytail and put the bonnet on and put my pajamas on. So anyway, I wanted to read to you guys this. So remember I was telling you guys, so with the new students, I get them for a month and then they move on to the next module, which is teaching them more and more in depth about dental. So I'm teaching them infection control, how to hold the suctioning, the rules of dental assistant. I mean, anything a beginning dental assistant needs to know. That's what my class is all about, right? So there was this one girl in here, she talked to me about quitting. She was like two weeks in and I pretty much wouldn't let her quit. Help and try to encourage her saying, no, don't give up. It may seem hard right now. You can do this. You have all the knowledge there. I don't know, just giving her every support and whatever that she needed. So she stuck through it and she sent me this text. She said to a special teacher, when I started school, this day seemed so far away. Now it's here, I can't believe the time has passed so quickly, but through your encouragement and guidance, I feel I'm ready for tomorrow's challenge. Teachers play such an important part in shaping and guiding, especially teachers like you, Miss Rogers. Thank you for caring so much. And of course I sent her this text back, whatever, but that made my day that I'm new to the teaching field, but in just one month of me having my own students, I was able to help someone that much to where they sent me, you know, something heartfelt. So yeah, you guys, that was very sweet of her. And I told her, you know, I sent her this long thing, but I can't wait to see them graduate. And I know they could all do it. So yeah, wasn't that sweet of her? Oh, and remember a while back, I told you guys about a coworker who had a stroke and it was touch and go for a while. She almost died. So I found out a little bit more information. So she was in a care home in Stockton. What brought it on was an aneurysm and she had the stroke and everything. So I think it's her right side that's paralyzed and that her face droops. So anyway, I guess he made like this big turnaround. He made it through it and she's at home now. Thank God. Um, she's going to physical therapy and she's even on Facebook now so when she writes things sometimes 
she doesn't spell it out correctly but you can see what she's trying to say so yeah that's good news you guys and it's funny because I think I told you guys this so if I'm actively working with somebody I'm not friends with them on any social media and it's not that I have anything to hide it's just that I want to keep it professional but then when I don't work there anymore or whatever like that then I'll be friends with them on social media so she knew that long time ago and then when I stopped working there she sent me a friend request and so now we're Facebook friends so she sent me an instant message earlier today she said hey girl can we be Facebook friends now and I'm like I don't know where her mind is from what I see she has all of her memory and everything so I told her I said I think we already are and she said it won't let me press the button to send you a, requ a request and I said I think we're already our friends look on my page you should be able to see everything on my page because I can see what's on yours and she said oh, okay so yeah maybe certain things she forgets I don't know but she's doing a whole lot better from what I hear she has posted pictures of when this happened to her they shaved like half of her hair off on one side so of course I'm not going to show you guys this because it's not my it's not my place to do that but she really looked like death had all this long blonde hair just to see her now how it is it's kind of sad to me so yeah she's doing a whole lot better she made it she survived she's at home she's getting physical therapy so yeah I just wanted to tell you guys about that good morning everyone it is Friday and I'm making my coffee. I am in regular clothes today because we're having an in-service. Today is no school for the students. Um, they start back up on Monday and today should be fairly short, I'm hoping. Um, when I say fairly short, I mean they told me at the latest, at the latest three, but we can be done as soon as 12 or 1 and I'm rooting for 12 or 1 even though I need to stay and get my four hours or whatever I don't know you know how it is after Bible study yesterday just came home and I pretty much showered and jumped into bed and fell asleep watching TV so that was pretty much it I use it on vlog after Bible study because I don't know just don't because I'm tired and today technically I don't have to be to work until 9 it's 7.17. I woke up at my normal time. Because um, when I set my clock, I kind of like forgot to set it for a later time. And those of you that don't know, I use an actual alarm clock. I don't use the clock on my phone. Um, I don't use the clock on my phone often, put it that way. I'm old school. I used the one on my dresser. So um, I just turned it on and woke up my normal time. But um, they said I technically don't have to be there. Well, my director over the dental said 9, but the director over the school said between 8.30 and 9 is breakfast. But from what I learned last time we had an in-service, they never start anything on time. So my, um, my director, she was just like, sleep in and, you know, just come in at 9. I'm like, okay, um, I'll sleep in, but I didn't. So just sitting here drinking my coffee and... 7:20 now so by now I would have definitely been on the way to work I wish I would have taken advantage and slept in because now I'm just going to be sitting here until I decide to get up and leave I could have went in my regular time and just printed stuff that I need to prepare for Monday because I get a new set of students and stuff like that but she said we will have time afterwards so when we have these in services all of us teachers will meet in one room and the director over the whole school will go over things that he needs us to go over. And then when that's done, they feed us lunch. And then after that, we break out into our own departments like dental and all the other, you know, teaching, um, all the other instructors over the different departments. So my boss actually said when we do that, that's when I can print whatever I need and then I could choose to leave early or not. So, yeah, we'll see you guys. Today is payday. So, that's a good thing about Friday. Um, yeah, I am watching, I should watch this on my computer because it'll be bigger. But why did I swipe it away? Oh no. 
I was in the middle of watching my friend Carol. Um, come on. I'm in the middle of watching my friend Carol's Halloween segment. I watch all of her videos, but her family is really big on Halloween. They love Halloween. So I like watching what she gets to prepare for the Halloween. And they have on Halloween, they have like a big family gathering and she decorates the table and their whole house and they do the same thing for Christmas, but they're really into Halloween. So I'm watching her now and her name is Carol Ray. If you guys want to go check her out. You guys, it looks like fall is here. It looks like it's going to rain today. It probably won't, but it looks like it's going to rain. Let's see what the weather is going to be like. It's 8.12, by the way. They said 8.30 for breakfast, but they didn't start on time last time, so I don't think they will start on time today. Okay, what am I looking for? Weather. Okay, they said the high today is going to be 76, so not bad. I can't even talk right now. Not bad, you guys. And right now it's 63 degrees in Sacramento. Y'all, my room is like a hot mess. Hold on, let me tell you guys this while I'm driving. So yes, I have you guys here again. So anyway, since I, let me go back up a little. So since I've started this job, you guys know I'm just, I'm trying to find my flow, my routine, my pattern, whatever, because every night, like in the beginning, I was bringing stuff home. Um, who is this? Anyway, um, what am I saying? Oh my goodness, that text just startled me. Hold on. Okay. So the text that I just got, my pastor may have had a mini stroke. And we're a bunch of the churches in a group text. So that's the reason why you guys hear my phone um, keep dinging. I hope not. Anyway, well, I can't even focus. Um, what am I saying? Okay, so... Since I've started this job, I'm trying to find my pattern, my workflow, because in the beginning I was taking home a bunch of papers and things because this is my first time teaching. I'm trying to get stuff together and whatnot. So then as the month went on, there were some days I didn't take stuff at home. I mean, didn't take stuff home and I was happy and I'm like, okay, so now I think I'm finding my flow, which is good. But in the beginning, they had homework like every single night. So I know I have to take stuff home every night to grade, but at least I have a flow now. So because of that, and I really can't blame this because this was on me, but my house is clean. I clean my house when I totally neglected my room. That's what I'm trying to say. And my room is a mess. And it's funny because I want to show you guys, but it's like, this is so embarrassing. And everything's not always perfect. But I really don't want to show you guys my mess. And my daughter was like, you should do a clean with me video and, you know, put it up. But my room is literally a mess. It's not nasty. It's just, it's a bunch of papers all over the place. You guys already know that when I check my mail, my one dresser next to me, I just put my mail there instead of going through my mail and discarding it then I just let it pile up I take out the bills and the other stuff I just lay there I don't know why it's a bad habit but I've been that way for years and I need to break that habit because my dresser is always a mess full of papers so that and then um, on the other side there's not really a bunch of papers but a bunch of notepads and not Bible books but yeah I guess Bible books books that um, talk about the Bible more in depth stuff like that and then <laughs> I don't know it's my room is just a mess and then you guys know I don't use my bathtub I take showers right so my bathtub in my bathtub I have the dirty clothes hamper and I have the clean clothes hamper because it was just taking up room in my room in the walkway so I don't use my bathtub I take showers so I put it in there and Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm just really worried about my pastor, you guys. Um, his wife is just asking for everyone to pray. Anyway, um, what am I saying? So I don't use my bathtub and I just put my dirty clothes in my dirty clothes hamper and then the clean clothes on the clean side. And now everything in on the clean side is clean, 
but I have not put it away. I have not put anything away in my room since I've started working there. So I'll wash clothes and I'll just take it and I'll put it in the clean side and then I'll I'll dig from the clean side every morning instead of hanging it up because on the weekends I'm so tired or I'm still correcting homework but the weekend like last weekend I think I had time to do it I just didn't want to do it but my room is a hot mess now so I think oh my gosh I think I am actually going to do a clean with me video for my room really embarrassing yeah I don't know if I should show you guys this or not and it's not nasty I'm not it's not I'm not a nasty person or anything like that it's just a mess so we'll see so we're in Winco and Savannah thinks she's about to record a TikTok. she just put her phone down I thought you had to have the song playing y'all you see her phone is like right there and she's about to do a TikTok. I don't even know what a TikTok is well she told me, I guess it's like musically. No, I can't. So, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> this is hilarious. Don't care. Who cares? But you have to have a song playing, right? <laughs> this is so funny. What are you scared for? There's like four people behind me. Let me show you guys. There's other people in the aisle. This is gonna be so funny. So funny. Who cares? Just do it. My battery's flashing. You gotta go, hurry, so it won't die. Just do it, just do it. I can't even hear the song. Hurry, my battery's flashing. If this dies, you guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, go. Come on. <laughs> That's hilarious. So yes, you like I red vines. I cannot talk. I said blinds. You like red vines, so why like is that ill to you? Black licorice. Oh, yeah, I don't either. Okay, so she found an empty aisle. Not a lot of people come where the dog food is. Boston eats dog food, so we'll get her some. But in the meantime, Savannah is about to perform. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, she's rearranging things. Hurry, Savannah. I'm trying. Come on, it's, it's a process. Okay, well, I need to let me know when you're ready because I need to get okay. boss. Okay, you ready? How should I look? How should you look? <laughs> I'm looking at you. Who cares? Go for it. I'll let you guys see it when she's done. 